In this video, we'll cover all the info you need to get the most out of your Stratus LED 100 watt modules. They can be powered off of any 20 to 28 volt DC source capable of supplying at least 5 amps. 6 cell LiPo batteries are perfect, and if you don't have any, two 3 cell LiPos in series will also work. A 10 amp hour 6 cell LiPo will run one LED module for 110 minutes. We also offer AC to DC power supplies for use with wall sockets. If you're going to be using it on a tripod or a light stand, attach the included tripod bracket with an M3 by 8 bolt and use the quarter 20 wing nut to attach the whole assembly. We also offer battery hanging bags that buckle onto the light stand or tripod. Before powering on your LED module for the first time, check that all the wires are connected in the right order and that they are securely tightened in the screw terminals. Also, make sure the wires are routed away from the fan blades. The four main bolts should be just tight enough to hold everything together without any slop, but if they are too tight, they can deform the fan housing and cause the blades to rub. If you ever attach your own power connector or modify the existing one, be sure the polarity is correct before powering the light on. Our version 1 drivers do not have reverse polarity protection. Once powered on, be sure to keep your fingers away from the fan blades because they are sharp and will cut through flesh. You'll notice a yellow fringe around the light beam. If you'd like to get rid of this, see the instructional video in the tutorials section of our website. Check that your reflector lays flat against the LED chip. Sometimes, the small plastic knobs on the reflector don't perfectly line up with the corresponding holes on the LED chip, and this can create a gap that makes the light less efficient. In this case, just take an X-Acto blade and pop off the knobs. The reflector will then lie flat. If you'd like a wider beam of light instead of the 60 degree beam created by the lens, go ahead and just remove the lens altogether. These LEDs are actually much more efficient without the lens because less light is converted to heat before being projected outwards. However, the lens still is better for increasing the intensity of light directly in front of the modules. We are working on super efficient spotlight reflectors that will be available soon. These are a huge improvement over the glass lenses for illuminating subjects in the distance. You'll notice a clear rubber coating on the surface of the driver. This does not offer any waterproofing. It's only for durability. The LED modules can be made water resistant. See our tutorial on that for more info. The small on-off switch on the back of the driver switches the LED and fan on and off as long as the pin jumper is in place. When the switch is in the on position, the LED and fan can be controlled by jumping the pins. They are not current bearing, so a small switch or transistor can be used. Don't let these pins come in contact with any other metal on the driver board or on the entire LED module because it will damage the driver's switching function. These pins can be extended out to an external switch or to a receiver controlled switch for remote controlling capabilities. I typically like to use either the RC switch with medium low side MOSFET from Servo City or a Turnigy receiver controlled switch. Here are wiring diagrams for both. You'll need a BEC capable of handling a 6S LiPo to power the receiver. I typically like to solder its input wires to the underside of the screw terminal. You can also use an Arduino to control the LED modules with an additional transistor. Here's a wiring diagram of how you can make a strobe flasher with an Arduino. The code is available in the video description. You can change the flicker time by adjusting these two values. Another example is this lump of tape with an Arduino and a photoresistor buried in it that is programmed to turn the light on when it gets dark. Thank you for purchasing our 100 watt LED modules and good luck with your lighting projects.